Can you tell we're in Alabama country? Are on the road to Alabama. Yes, I am heading out to Jakin, Alabama. It's near the western border of Alabama, near Mississippi. It's in what they call the Black Belt region of Alabama. Black Belt region of Alabama is known for a few things. Uh, one is actually poverty, and uh, you know it's a very rural area, but they are known for very big, very plentiful white-tailed deer. So I'm going to a place called Bent Creek Lodge. I'm going to meet a couple friends there, and we are having a three-day hunt there during their rut or breeding season for the white-tailed deer. And we are hopefully going to come home successful. heading north into Alabama. Anybody who's ever driven I-10 through the panhandle of Florida knows what I'm talking about when I say I am ready to get off of I-10. Welcome to Alabama, the beautiful. Well, at least that's what the sign says. dad used to live and I'm running a little bit ahead of schedule of my friends and uh, it's actually their hotel so I figured I'd just take a little detour it's literally just a few miles off of the normal route that I was taking to go check out my dad's old house I just kind of want to go see what it looks like and what the old neighborhood looks like so just taking a little detour here Auburn University of Montgomery. They've built it up a lot since I was here last, several several years ago. And this is the entrance to my dad's old neighborhood, so we're gonna go down and see how his house is doing. It's built up a lot around here since he was here. None of these houses were here. Here's his road. It was just this section of the neighborhood that was built back then. I don't even know if I'll recognize it. I was looking at the wrong house. I was looking at the one next to him. That's it. All right, checked out Dad's old house, and now I am back on the road to Tuscaloosa. I'm still running quite a bit ahead of schedule. Uh, my buddy's got caught in traffic in Charlotte, so I'll probably just grab a nap or something when I get to the hotel and relax until they get there. In the meantime, I'm driving through some beautiful parts of Alabama including the old capital of the Confederacy here in Montgomery. It's dropped 10 degrees just in the last 30 minutes. It's gonna be a chilly night. Beautiful sunset in Alabama. Had to stop and take some video of it. All right, made it to Tuscaloosa. Here, staying here at the Fairfield Inn. Close to the Academy Sports. I don't know if you can see that, but that's perfect placement for our hotel. So we can stop there and get any last minute stuff we need for hunting. Just finishing up breakfast at Waffle House. 
and heading out to Jakin, Alabama, I guess that's how you pronounce it, to the Bent Creek Lodge. Gonna get there and hopefully sight in rifles and uh, get settled in our rooms and get ready to hunt this afternoon. dirt road here it's like we're going through a gate there's a stand back up in there Ooh, look at this old-fashioned bridge I'm not going two cars on that thing one car at a time baby oh it's exciting <laughs> Oh, and there's the lodge. Look at all the trucks. Woo! Busy weekend. <laughs> Chris worried he's the only car here. <laughs> yeah. He goes, come on, guys, it's the open truck. <laughs> Bent Creek Lodge, the home for, our home for the next few days. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Extra 750. <laughs> Chris is thinking he wants to go into the trophy area, so that's a, that's a little bit of extra money. I like it. Thane and Chris decided they need to shoot their guns before we go out, so we're gonna go shoot guns. Look what I just found. The box of ammo I couldn't find. <laughs> <laughs> They're all along. Unbelievable. Is that leftover marking tape from when we were? <laughs> yes, it is. That's awesome. I don't travel without it. All right, so this is a range. They got a couple sleds set up here for you to rest your rifle on. Thane's got some of his shooting sea targets. Yes, sir. You're gonna need it for down there. Let's walk down and put them up. His gun all set up here. You ready? Ready. still loud in here. Uh-huh. Holy that was mine. cow. Yeah, that thing is loud. Set up to just test his and make sure it's good. Feeling hot, guys. Fire hole. Good. Packing up. Huh? Oh, round you're... Round two. Oh, round two. Hey, you want to shoot 200? Sure. Yeah, sure. Let's shoot 200. All right, let's go down there and put target. Shoot. All right, so this is our room for the weekend. It's just the three of us in here. And we share a bathroom with the guy across the hall there. Pretty nice setup, though. Lots of room for us. All right, this is where they let me off for my first hunt. I'm gonna go down that road to a box blind. I'm all set to go. It's definitely a little chilly. But I've got quite a few layers on. I look like the uh, the camouflage snowman, is what Thane said. But gonna head to the head to the blind. They said there's a good chance you could see deer on the way there. So I'm gonna load the gun and hunt my way in. Walking down the road, there's deer tracks everywhere. Coming into my shooting area here. You can see the box blind that I'll be sitting in. Beautiful big green field. Too much, but this is the inside.
got my camera, but I got my go first day. I'm not going to be scuffed. Oh, the guys here want you to take neck shots, so that's what I did. Perfect shot, 130 yards, and she just hit the dirt. No trailing, no chasing, right there on the ground. Perfect. So, I've at least got my dough, going home with something for the cooler. Now it's just a matter of time to wait for a book. I got here right next to me, and I'm right here. They sit, right? That's right. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That ought to be fun. Got our bag lunches? That's right. <laughs> Getting our boots. Hunting in a very different area today. Looks totally different, very hilly. You see I'm going up there into this green field. Today's gonna be a little different. Today I am doing an all day sit. We just got out here at 10 o'clock in the morning and we'll be here till six o'clock tonight. We're doing this because the deer are moving around between 10 and two. So we're hoping to catch them while they are moving. It's gonna be interesting. That's a long sit, eight hours of me sitting in a stand. But I came prepared, got a bigger backpack and a lot more stuff with me. And the nice thing is Bent Creek Lodge prepares you a pack lunch to take with you. So we won't go hungry, that's for sure. I'm uh, anxious to get up into this field and see if I see any deer. We've already seen quite a few moving around this morning just on our way to the stand. Just walk into the stand here. There we go. That's where I'll be today. All day. Very pretty view though. Look at this. Beautiful here. Nothing more than a 93 yard shot, that's the furthest away. It's a great, great stand. Beautiful. Check this out, he's literally walking sideways. He's going right at her, sniffing her. Look at his nose. Look at this. This is awesome. Hopefully we'll see something there in the afternoon. Got a few hours left. What? Look at this. Hey, go check her out.
kitchen or dining room, I guess, here at Mint Creek Lodge. It's where we eat all our meals, get our coffee in the morning, and take care of us real good when it comes to food around here. All right, here you got the skinning area and the cooler. This is where they take care of all our deer for us. Hang them in the cooler. They will uh, quarter your deer for you to take them home, but that's about the extent of it. There's no, no meat processing that goes on here at Bent Creek. But they will make it so you can take it home and you don't have to field dress it or anything. They take care of all that for you. It's a pretty nice deal. I thought these were interesting when I first got here. I hadn't seen something like this before. We speculated that they were for bow hunters and, and that is in fact what they are for. Uh, gets you up above like you are in a tree with your bow and able to practice with your bow you know, from that height. So they got this all set up for you know, the gun range that I showed you earlier for gun hunters and then they've got these for bow hunters. All right, so this is what they take you around to your stands in. Nice little Ford Expedition. Big old mud tires. And this is like a homemade rack they have on the back. That's where we put our deer. Sometimes our gear. Not, not bad accommodations to take you around to your stand. All right, well, today we head home. I got, I ended up with uh, a doe and a nice eight point last night. Unfortunately, I put all my cameras away, all my stuff away right before he walked out. And um, I was hunting on this little hill like this and he came, all I could see was antlers on the other side of that hill. And he finally came up and then he wouldn't turn broadside, he'd face right at me. So he finally decided to turn right before we ran out of shooting light. And uh, I took him down right there where he stood with a nice neck shot. It was about 96 yards out. So I'm going home with two deer, which will fill the freezer back up, which is good. Had great time, made great memories, and uh, looking forward to next year and, and what adventures await this group for next year. Florida, about halfway home from Alabama. <laughs>